Hi guys, this is kind of a strange announcement that comes out of Italy regarding the Campi Flegri super volcano because it sounds like a little band aid, but it's it's in light of what might happen. It is kind of I don't want to say ridiculous, at least they are doing something, but will this really help the population that lives there? I hardly doubt it, especially in light of what one of the leading experts that has been following that volcanic system, as well as Vesuvius, for decades, a professor of the University of Roma, he has retired from there now, but he's now with the Italian Geological Agency and the Vesuvius Observatory. He says regarding Campi Flegri and the signs that Campi Flegri is showing right now with the Brady size and the land rise, the continuous earthquakes in the higher range above three, 3.9, 4 point something, um, also in the sea, in the, in the, uh, port of Pozzuoli area, he said just recently, just a few days ago, if I had the resources, I would evacuate that area right now. Check out my video about that. I really, really urge you to check this out. It gives you all the valuable information that you need to know about this scary super volcano. The link is at the end screen. Um, check it out, guys. But this is a quick update about what the authorities want to do. And then if you compare it in light of the threat that is present, it really sounds like a Band-Aid. So maybe they want to show the population that they're doing something because in the back of their heads, they know if the real event happens, these people will not have a chance and it saddens me to say that but in the direct proximity people will not have a chance and it's going to be explained in my video as well so the government wants to introduce or they're discussing about the introduction of a new environmental alarm for that area so an environmental alarm what what are they meaning so they want to introduce this for Campi Flegri specifically, so not for Vesuvius as it sounds. So we know the geological unrest is continuing at Campi Flegri, at the Caldera area of southern Italy that spans roughly 100 kilometers. So this volcano looks different. You don't only have one significant crater, you have these widespread calderas. If you look at the area pictures, it looks like bombs were thrown into the area and you see some bomb craters or asteroids that that hit the earth but if you're in the area you don't really recognize it that much that's why people have settled in and around these calderas and and in all this area it, there could be a volcanic eruption and they're sitting right on top of it so there's press reports that the risk of health hazards from air pollution resulting from the emission of magmatic gases in this caldera, in these caldera, in these solfataras, how they call it, that have these fumaroles, these steam vents that come out, release hot, hot volcanic air and gases, um, that, that this has not received enough attention. And they're saying that especially children and elderly people or sick people um, or people with respiratory issues are particularly at risk even from low concentrations of magmatic gases in the air that they're breathing, right? So, and, and it is the case that quite often the residents in the area and of course the residents of the fishing town of Pozzuoli especially, they re report the strong smell of hydrogen sulfide, like it's, it smells like rotten eggs, like sulfur, right? So hydrogen sulfide is one of the compounds that are emitted by volcanoes, but it can also be formed through the, it's called like put refraction process where hydrogen sulfide is just one of the many gases that are produced by these fumaroles in these solfataras, in the solfatara areas. So there's gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. They can escape from these solfataras through the fumaroles in large quantities from that volcano. It is a volcano. And the tricky thing is they are largely odorless. So you don't smell it, but you breathe it and it's toxic. And they pose a strong health risk. 
because some of the carbon gases are heavier than oxygen and they displace basically near the ground. And honestly, and this is not bullshit, this creates a risk of suffocation. And especially if carbon dioxide accumulates in low-lying areas, such as basements of homes. And I doubt that many homes or even any have like an alarm in their basements. So that's why they're discussing the introduction of an environmental alarm, which would warn and inform the population about gas emissions. And they haven't yet announced in what form they would release this alarm. Will they install sirens? Will they use like a cell phone warning systems? But you have to remember, there's a lot of poor people in the area. There's a lot of elderly people in the area that might not use smartphones, you know, so what do you do? How do you do it? We will have to wait and see. And they're not doing this. Well, you know, you might ask, why haven't they done this before? Well, it shows that they are more and more concerned about what's going on there. Because these fumaroles in the Solfataras, there are a tourist attraction as well. So tourists can go there if the wind and they're measuring it there, yes, then they can go there. But the residents that live in these Solfataras or around these Solfataras, they watch, they see what's going on. They see whether authorities are coming in there taking measurements or not. And they can compare it to what has happened in the past. So they're talking about this on social media that the INGV, the Italian Institute for um, these geological and volcanic events, now visits the Solfatara craters almost every day and that they're carrying out inspections. So for them, and also for me, I have to say, this is an indication that they're taking this serious and, and indic it, it's a proof how serious the situation is currently assessed by the authorities and these relevant institutions. Because obviously they haven't been there on a daily basis before. So we always know, you know, and especially in this area, they don't want people to panic, that's my opinion, right? So they're trying to keep things behind closed doors. So just a few months ago, there was a leaked document that the government agencies had produced, but they did not inform local authorities or mayors of the, of the affected towns and areas that they thought that the magma chamber is way more shallow than previously thought, because now everyone basically comes to the consent that there is a shallow, more shallow magma accumulation at a depth of only four kilometers. Before they were thinking eight or 10 kilometers. So when they came to the conclusion that it's probably four kilometers, they were hiding this under the rug. And then once that was leaked, like the officials of the affected towns that are right there on these craters, on these Solfataras, they were really angry that they weren't informed. But you know, if you create a mass panic with an area of more than 3 million people, or even only there around Pozzuoli, four to 500,000 people, um, and you know it's basically impossible to evacuate them because there's not like six lane highways going through that area. It's narrow winding roads for so many people. And you know, the eruption will not give a lot of warning, but as I said, check out my video about this. I don't want to repeat this here. So for the time being, the earthquake activity in the Campi Fligre area continues at that level that it had been the last few days and weeks. Since yesterday, almost 30 earthquakes have been detected by the INGV and the strongest had a magnitude of 1.7 and that was just happening this morning. So they, they do not expect a decrease in the earthquake activity. So again, guys, this was just a, a quickie, a quick update. 
check out this video here. I'll point it out, check it out. And if you're interested in this area, if you live there or if you like to travel there and want to learn about more about the brother Vesuvius, check out the other video. I put these two videos in the end screen. If you want to learn about what's going on in Iceland, we're waiting for the next event. That could kind of be surprising because it's behaving differently. Also, check out my video series about Iceland. So, I hope to keep you here on my channel. Lots of interesting things are happening. The next update will be out very, very soon. Please like this video to help my channel. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to see you on a regular base. Thanks guys, I'm out of here. See you soon, bye bye.